70, 60, 45. The Harleys, K-Lite is really good. It's really good. Behind, you can see it from the sides. Not the Custom Dynamics is, is thinner. What I'm be doing today is installing the Pro Beam, the Custom Dynamics K Light, the Slim Thin K Light. Oh yeah, I got the name, the Low Profile, the Low Profile K Light. So this is the night before I do the install. I just want to show you before the before the Harley stock tail light that comes with the 2022 Lowrider ST. Let me turn the lights on exactly behind it and I'll go to the side so I can see the angles. This is directly behind. Nice and bright. It's actually a very nice uh, light. This is at 45 degrees to the right. The tail light becomes dim. It's not really visible. I'll go uh, 90 degrees. Okay, already over here. There's actually I cannot see. All you see the reflection is from the light itself, like from the two lights uh, on the side, the two turn signals. And over here, you can't really see at all. I'm about 80 degrees to the right. Let me just say that I'm removing the tail light, not because it's not good. I think actually Harley did a perfect, a beautiful job with this tail light, it's really, really good. It's, the profile of it is nice. It's all, all LEDs, really nice. Nice looking, it's got a, a section where it lights up the license plate. So absolutely no complaints, absolutely nothing bad to say about this tail light. It looks really, really good. I'm simply checking out Custom Dynamics, low profile tail light, which According to what I've actually seen at one of Robert Simmons' uh, Paying It Forward videos, he pointed out a very interesting point, is that the tube lighting, the way they built it, the LED tubes inside, gives a great illumination, and also you can see the, uh, the light, the red light, from a very, very acute angle, like literally almost 90 degrees to the right or left, you can actually see that light, which is very rare. This light, I checked it out last night. I couldn't see it, like around 45, 60 degrees to the right or to the left. You cannot see the, the light already, the tail light. And with the Pro Beam, the Custom Dynamics Pro Beam, you actually can. So let me put it on, simple plug and play. I just wanna let you know at this stage, apparently something with the Lowrider ST design, with this specific uh, tail light. They're, they changed something in the plug. It's not like the Lowrider S and Custom Dynamics are actually now working on a small adapter, small plug. They don't have it yet, but down by the description, you'll find a link to Custom Dynamics website. When you speak to them over the phone, make sure and ask them if they already have that little plug. They got one ready for me. They made it locally. They made it themselves but they still don't have them for sale. But maybe actually by the time you're watching this video, they do actually have it. So this is the actual item itself. Pro Beam LED pro low profile tail light. Two simple screws over here. You know what, let me show you what it looks like before, close up, before. It's actually a very nice light that Harley made. As you can see, it consists of one, two, three, four, 12 individual LEDs. Really nice, it's, it's smoked, it's a smoked lens. And it's a really nice light. Let me show you what it looks like at uh, illuminated during the day. Okay, this is what it looks like during the day. See, only pretty much from exactly behind, you can see it. From the sides, not so much anymore. That's during the day. So you have to be really much, uh, really pretty much right behind it to be seeing it. That's what it looks like exactly behind. It's raised. And it's out. Little sticker for weatherproofing. This is the light itself. Now, as you see, these lights, the, they have this kind of connector and this does not fit. That's where this guy comes into place. 
into play. So let's show, let me compare the two. So as you can see, they're very much, very much alike. The design of the LED elements is different. In terms of how wide, how thick, the Custom Dynamics is, is thinner. I mean, if I compare them one above each other, okay, you see, this is stock Custom Dynamics. The, the, I'd say the tint, the tint is pretty much the same. So, good job for Harley. Let me put this on. Oh, look, they put like little, two little silicone O-rings. So you put over here, so you weather seal it completely. Let me use this, the bolts or the screws. It's bolts over here. Let me get these bolts out. what I said before of bringing an angle I'm like almost 90 degrees actually I am 90 degrees and you can still see the light over here and I think it's even brighter I'm not sure I have to check the video from what I can see from here it is brighter let me put the so it looks like behind break oh it looks it looks much brighter it looks way brighter So as I've said, Harley's taillight is really good. It's really good. Like I have nothing bad to say about it. But Custom Dynamics is even better because it gives you also the visibility from the sides. 30, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, and that's already 90 degrees. You can still see the light. That's pretty awesome. So while we're at it, I think that by the way, the strobing is a little obnoxious. I'm gonna open up the seat and go into the uh, triple play and change the whole the whole uh, illumination I'm not crazy about it this is where you choose what like what style of illumination you want right now it's on obnoxious triple obnoxious I'll put it on bearable obnoxious you look really carefully on that little cross it's showing currently on six. That's number six. I'm gonna switch it to eight. Let's see what it does. I think I read on the instructions uh, something uh, that eight will be good for me. Speaking of cross, guys, did you see my latest items that I brought from the Holy Land from Israel on my website? Really cool items. A lot of people liked it. Uh, little lucky charms, little lucky uh, items from the Holy Land, the cross, uh, made of olive wood, put them on the bike, wear them on your neck, just for good luck and for protection when you're on your bike, so check it out. And of course, obviously, how did I not say, there is a tour pack, which I don't have here right now, a tour pack giveaway. So any item you buy on the website, you immediately uh, are uh, entered into that giveaway, into that raffle, so go ahead and check it out. And I finally came to the one I like. I think it's on one, and it's pretty much one, two, three, and then steady brake light. So I literally had to wait for the evening. So I get the same lighting as I got yesterday before I did the exchange. Let's check out the lighting of the bike with the custom dynamics. Straight from behind. It's directly behind, 45 degrees. It's right here. This is at 45 degrees to the right, as bright as can be. It's 
60 degrees degrees okay already over here at this stage there's visible 80 degrees <laughs> that's that's 90 literally 90 degrees let me go even beyond around 100 degrees 110 degrees you can still see the light that is the light actually of the taillight and over here can't really see at all. I'm about 80 degrees to the right. Let me walk 70, 60, 45. Right behind. Okay, left should be the same thing. 30, 45, 60, 80, went 90 degrees. That is really an, an improvement from uh, the peripheral uh, vision, you know, from the side, seeing from the right and the left. And it's, I think it's a little bit even brighter. So that's it, guys. That's it for now, guys. I'm Sandy watching Holy Shift. Till the next video. Peace out, guys.